new feature propped up for me just this morning and today is November the 10th and I started a brand new email in Outlook, Outlook 365 in the new Outlook and I had a message that I could now record video into my email messages. Now in order for this to work I need to turn off my camera for Camtasia so I'll be back in just a minute. Here I am just talking to you now but we're going to hopefully see me in the video. So I've got my video here and my email and I've clicked into the body uh, and I'm just going to say hello from Shelley as the subject line and then I'm going to click this record button. Now it's going to start up the recording options and it's actually using Microsoft Stream which is part of your Microsoft 365 subscription. By recording you agree to comply with your organization's teams and you have the necessary permissions. You can see the background of my office here. I can change the camera. I can change the microphone. I can share a screen. I can go to the backdrop. I can choose a different kind of backdrop. So let's make it, I don't know, sunny outside or let's go to the office. I quite like that one. That one will do nice. If I have a script, I can type or paste my script in here. I haven't used this yet, so I'm playing along and you're playing with me. And I've got some different effects. So I'm gonna start recording my message. Well, hello there. I am so thrilled to be in your inbox today. I want to tell you all about Virtually Amazing Assistance, the podcast. It's new and it's launching on, on December the 17th lineup of lots of useful guests to coming along to help you learn lots and lots of things. And I'll see you on the podcast. So I've well, hello the there. I am it's now so thrilled it back for me. to be in your inbox today. And I, I can to trim and edit and stuff. I can add it. The podcast. I can trim it. It's I can new. delete and it's it. Launching I can record some more. On even add music. What happens if we add music? Let's try In a Dream. I'll see if I want to add it. I'll just put my headset on so I can hear it. Oops, don't like that one. Rain in Japan, how does that sound? All right, well, we'll add that one. Well, hello there. I am so thrilled to be in your ear. When I'm happy with it, I'll add it and it's prepared it. It's uploading my video to OneDrive. And I can now turn on my camera. No, I can't. Come to anyone. No longer let me turn on my camera. So you'll just have to bear with me. Now I can address it. So who shall I send it to? I'm going to send it to Lou. And we'll wait for it to finish rendering. It's rendering here. I'm going to pause recording while it renders. So here we are. It's now done. We can click play. Well, hello there. I am so thrilled to be in your inbox today and stop it again and I can watch it on stream. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send this. I'm sending it to Lou. Then I'm going to pause recording and I'm going to open it in Lou's inbox. Well, here I am in Lou's inbox and there's that message that I just sent her. And here is a link to the video. So it's come in as a link. I'm going to click the link. It takes me online to Microsoft Stream. Uh, it's in my OneDrive, so whoever receives it will be able to see it. And now I can play it. Well, hello there. I am so thrilled to be in your inbox today. And there we go. So that is now how we can record and share a video right there in Outlook. Now you might be wondering what happens if you send it outside of your organization and they don't necessarily have access or you might think that. So I've sent another message because I quite like doing this to my Gmail account. So it's outside of Tomorrow's VA. It's not Lou at Tomorrow's VA or Shelley at Tomorrow's VA or Zeta at Tomorrow's VA. It is now going to Shelley at Gmail. And you'll see that this is what I received. I received a link. Now watch what happens when I click the link in my Gmail account. It wants me to verify my identity. So I need to put in the email address that this secure link was sent to and, and then I need to pick an account. So I'm going to pick the account it went into and then I'm going to need to sign in. It's going to want me to use my secure sign in which I'm about to do on my phone over here and approve that. Uh, once my pin, yep there it's approved 
uh, updating the terms, that's okay. And uh, yeah, might as well stay signed in because I'm doing this in Chrome, which I usually use Edge. So here I am, there is my uh, video. Uh, it says some video players didn't refresh the page, so I'll do as I'm told, because uh, this is an experiment. Don't you love experimenting? And let's click play and see what happens. Well, hello there. Welcome to my newsletter. You are receiving this message because I just want to tell you lots of lovely things, specifically that virtually amazing assistant I'm going to stop podcast that now because you don't need to listen to that message inside a message. I can download it. If I download it, the download is video only and won't include stream, won't include any other items. So if I wanted to, as an external person, I could actually download that video, which means just be careful what you're saying and what your message is. But I think that's a rather exciting development that you can now send people a, a, a video greeting right inside your Outlook email. For more tips like this, remember to subscribe to the channel below and uh, you'll see that I post a video every week or so, most weeks, but sometimes I miss one. But anyway, subscribe, then you'll always be in the know.